Welcome to Tech Brothers Dhamma. In this video, we are going to answer this question. Um, you are given hundreds of files, uh, and uh, those files uh, could be sitting in uh, your blob storage or in uh, ADLS uh, Gen 2. And uh, you need to load those files uh, to the tables. Uh, so each file will be going to the specific table according to the file name. So in case that uh, you have uh, employee file, uh, that should be going to the employee table. And if you have sales file, that should be going to the sales table. And uh, you want to do this on the fly so maybe you, tomorrow you will get more files sometime you get less files and all that so is that possible to do in Azure Data Factory so the quick and easy answer for this one is Azure Data Factory does support this scenario first of all what you are going to do here you are going to use the get metadata activity and uh, that uh, once you use the get metadata activity it's going to get the list of the files uh. so once you have the list of the files uh, available to you then uh, uh, here you get the list of the files uh, by using uh, get meta data uh, activity so once uh, the list of the files are available uh, then you are going to provide those list of the files uh, to the for each loop uh, and inside the for each loop uh, what you are going to do you are going to use uh, uh, the copy activity and uh, the summer mapping has to be done and all that uh, so here inside this uh, for each loop uh, uh, let me cancel this out because my arrows are not really working uh, I'm trying to draw but here uh, in the for each loop uh, you're gonna use the copy activity and uh, each name that you are going to get from this list of the files uh, that you will use as a source and in the destination uh, so copy activity will be reading from the blob storage and writing to the Azure SQL or uh, just as simply SQL uh, on on-premises as well if you have used SSIS and you know that in SSIS the dynamic column mapping is not really allowed here in the Azure Data Factory you don't have to worry with copy activity once you provide the file source file name is going to read all those columns and write to the destination or table and you don't have to worry about the column list whatever the columns will be matching and that data will be loaded by using the copy activity I have a complete video Video that I'm gonna put uh, right here for you and you can simply click there and uh, uh, go through the entire scenario where I have explained each and every step uh. so this is the part was taken from there as well uh. so to answer your question if somebody asks you is that possible you load hundreds of files uh, according to the file name that's exactly matching with the table name in Azure Data Factory so your answer is yes uh, you will be using get metadata activity then you will be using for each loop and inside the for each loop uh, you are going to use the copy activity and uh, watch this uh, demo uh, right here that I'm going to provide uh, uh, to see more details about. Uh, thank you very much uh, for watching. Please subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.